Lightning Slash! This is the final stretch of the road to Accordia. Not far now. I can't wait. I've always wanted to visit. Pinnacle of peace, here we come. So that's the famous tower. It's tall, all right. It'll probably take days to get all the way to the top. Seriously? You're planning on climbing it? Yeah! Huh? <gasps> what is it? Something's coming this way, huh? through the trees. First clue who you are, but you couldn't have come at a better time. But I'm in a queer old pickle, so I am. You're in a what now? Huh? <laughs> I see. Seems you've picked up some unwanted admirers. Well, uh, seems I have, right enough. Well, only one thing for it then. Let's give him the old brush off. Bandits out here on your own. And I thought I always had the look at them. Didn't always have luck on my side. You do. After all, you ran into us, didn't you? Sure, you're not wrong there, lad. I'm blessed to have found you when I did. All right, you're free to go safely on your way, good sir. By the jeepers, you've saved me bacon, so you have. How can I ever repay you? I wouldn't start celebrating just yet. Something tells me those bandits weren't alone. She's right. Look over there. Of all the cheap tricks, jumping out on people from bushes. Well, it's not all bad. Looks like they think we can't see where they're hiding. Exactly! Which gives us the element of surprise. Come on, vision!
Yeah, and oh, don't come back. That looks like the last of them. Sure, and I've not the words to thank you all. If I'd have been on me lonesome, I'd have been Benjax for certain. So tell us, Pickles, who are you anyway? What's all that rubbish on your back? But gotta forgive me, men as cutchied as I am. Tornicote to lose the name. Humble weapon merchant of Endertown. Yeah. Endor. That's not a place I've been to or heard of. I've never heard of it either. So you've never heard of it at all at all. I'm starting to think my little hunch might be right. I've only gone and wandered into another blessed world, too busy seeking out that legendary weapon to notice so I was. When you say another world, you mean this one, right? So the place that you're from is somewhere completely different, is it? Sure, it is the only explanation I can think of. I love a good old adventure, see, and there's not a patch of grass in the whole wide world I've not trod me foot upon. And yet here I find myself in fields of an altogether unfamiliar green. I was rooting around for a way back home in yonder woods when your lads there took a shine to me, little tip. Simple as that, eh? You ran into them and they ran after you. Uh, Wait a minute, then. If you don't know how you ended up here in the first place, you probably don't know how to get back to your own world either, right? No. It's Tornico, correct? Aye. If I might make a suggestion, why not come with us to Accordia and see the High King? Huh? His radiance is one of the wisest men alive. Who knows? He may even be able to tell you how to get back to your world. And besides, Accordia is where all the best and rarest goods in the world change hands. You might even find your legendary weapon there. <laughs> yeah, she's right. You're coming with us, Pickles. Indeed. Journey with us, good sir. <gasps> You two. His name is not Pickles, it's Tornico. You can't just bully him into coming, he can decide for himself. Seriously, though, you should come with us. We can't just leave you stranded here. <laughs> oh, how's that for luck, eh? Landed square in the lap of the strongest, noblest, kindest band of heroes in this whole <laughs> new world. How could I possibly find it in me heart to refuse? I gladly take it up.
to a humble inn.
Your Radiance, it is I, Desdemona. I returned from harbor as quickly as I was able. I bring grave tidings. If you will permit me to make a full report. Hmm, you serve me as impeccably as ever. Come, lift up your face, child. Sire. Hmm, it would appear that you have not returned alone. Indeed, sire. These two brave young warriors aided me greatly in my mission. Hmm. I'm glad you found support in some quarters. And yet, it is plain that the Dionysians could not be persuaded from the path of aggression. Alas not. With the help of my companions here, I was able to turn back their advance at the inner gate. But the Dionysians seem determined to press their advantage. It is only a matter of time, I fear, before they renew their assault. Your Radiance. The King of Harbour, distraught at what has befallen his people, has expressed a strong desire to negotiate a peace. Accordingly, he asks that I relay to you his dearest wish. He humbly begs you to intervene as Supreme Sovereign of the Seven Realms and seek a resolution without further bloodshed. Hmm. What of our young Harbin friends? What would they have me do? Do 
you, like your ever noble king, wish to make peace with Tunisia? Or do you perhaps seek vengeance instead? Answer truthfully now. We want peace. We want the war with Tunisia to end. But we... We're not Harbans. We're Tunisians born and raised. <sighs> but, well, the Harbans have been good to us. To me. So we don't want anyone hurting anyone else. Not Harbans, not Tunisians, no one. So we want so... the war to end. And we do anything to stop it. Children of Tunisia standing up for their harbour cousins. How chivalrous. I do love a spot of selfless heroism. The events of these past days have come perilously close to upsetting the balance of our world. But fear not. I hereby swear, as supreme sovereign of the seven realms, to do all in my power to prevent that direst of prophecies from coming true. <laughs> However, before we set about bringing this war to an end, we will first need to understand its causes. Causes? You wish me to uncover the Dunisians' motive. They have reason for attacking. I do. I will leave for Dunisia right away, and believe me, sire, the truth behind their war-making will not elude me. I'm coming with you. Me too. If anyone can talk some sense into Cesar, it's us. Yes. Your fates and those of the warring kingdoms are already intertwined. I suspect that you may indeed be of use. You have my blessing. Yes! We won't let you down, your radiance. Just you wait. You're going to be so glad you sent us. We'll peer into Cesar's ear hole and find out what's going on in his thick head. Honestly, huh? that's the most important man in the world. When you speak to him, show some flipping respect. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Set forth without delay. The seeds of war shall not be suffered to take root in our world once more. Training. 
Indeed. Use it wisely. Focus always. <laughs> 